Stadia Series X and GeForce Now 3080 at 4K on the Shield TV. Can you tell which is which as we look at Cyberpunk 2077 once again? Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. Today we're having a look at Cyberpunk 2077 in 4K across the Xbox Series X and Google Stadia using quality mode and the GeForce Now Shield TV using the new 3080 tier, thanks to Nvidia for letting us have early access to this, at ultra ray tracing settings. So looking at the three here, we actually have the Xbox Series X on the left, the Shield TV 4K RTX 3080 in the middle, and Google Stadia on the right. As I said, Xbox Series X and Google Stadia are both in the quality modes for the highest quality and resolution here, but that does lock the FPS at 30 frames per second. So as we freeze here, we see a big resolution difference as well on Google Stadia. As soon as we pause this, a lot of these artifacts show up, but Xbox Series X and GeForce now are extremely close here. There is a little bit of coloration difference as there was a slight difference in time of day, even though I tried my best to match them up and slightly different end of town as well. So let's have a look full screen, starting with the Xbox Series X here. We can see just how clear this is, but it is frame locked at 30 frames per second, but we're pretty sure we are getting the full 4K here. We're getting some fantastic effects here on the smoke especially in the distance as well, looking at the quality of the buildings as we're moving around. It is rock steady at that 30 frames per second. So let's switch over to the Shield TV Pro. We've still got that color vibrancy. Cyberpunk is definitely extremely good with its colors and random colors on the roads here as well. As we come onto the other side of the road, we can see we're not getting quite full 60 frames per second, but we are running full ultra settings and ray tracing on Psycho as well with the LSS on performance, so we are getting drops down into the 40s and 50 frames per second. But it is extremely smooth, at least it's pushing higher than that base 30. As we go over to Google Stadia from the 4K quality mode on the Chromecast Ultra, we see a huge drop in that quality, so it's definitely not full 4K here. Probably more like 1440 at best here, stretched up to 4K and also frame locked at 30 frames per second. So it's a bit of a shame here, but when we put it against the other two platforms, Stadia is definitely looking worse for wear. Now we come back side by side, we see those quality differences a bit better. So the GeForce Now Shield TV Pro with that RTX 3080 tier is definitely pushing higher frames per second, but still not getting full 60 here in Cyberpunk. So let's have a look at a night scene and this is where we see some huge differences in the effects. We can see the Series X here does have some pixelation on those ray tracing effects whereas GeForce Now Shield TV is super clear on the reflections here and Stadia also shows some of that pixelation on the reflections here at night time as well. Looking in the distance though both the Series X and Shield TV Pro are looking crystal clear with Stadia looking a bit blurry on those buildings. So let's go into a bit of combat. With the Series X, we do see this effect of the gun materializing as we switch, and this is quite regular. We saw some blood splatter effects there after the fact of the body being gone. This is some of the bugs that are still present in Cyberpunk, unfortunately, but still extremely smooth moving around. But then when we look at the Shield TV Pro, these blood splatter effects as well, very prominent. But that increase in the frames per second, as well as that increase in the quality for the ray tracing and for everything else, just make it look and feel so smooth. But once again, we come to Stadia, although it is smooth moving around, we see that huge drop in quality compared to the other two. On a TV, it doesn't look as bad, but it's definitely noticeable when you're putting it up against the Shield TV and also the Series X. So as we come back side by side then to show a bit of that nighttime movement and graphics, we can see that the Shield TV Pro with the GeForce Now RTX 3080 is definitely standing out here and is really a huge contender against the Xbox Series X here. Performance mode, it does look a little bit closer, but we do take quite a big hit on the graphics on the Series X and even more so on Stadia as it then gets locked at 1080p, even if you're running at 4K. So GeForce Now's RTX 3080 tier has firmly put it into the top 
premium tier for cloud gaming and potentially also consoles in general. Putting it against the Xbox Series X here, the Shield TV Pro is only $250 versus the Xbox Series X at $450ish, depending if you can even get one. However, the GeForce Now RTX 3080 tier will also cost you around $16 a month as it's $99 for six months at a time, which will put it to the same price as the Xbox Series X over the course of a year if you bought the Shield TV Pro as well. Stadia is definitely the budget option here as the Chromecast Ultra with a controller is going to set you back around $90. So if you are only gaming at 1080, then Stadia is definitely the cheapest way to play here. As far as consoles and PC versions of the game goes, it's going to be a toss up between the Series X and Shield TV, depending on what you want to play. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this comparison and which one you would be diving into. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.